I want to go through with you how we write what's called an equilibrium expression, or that elusive expression that most people call KEQ. That's a capital K, subscript EQ. It's very simple once you have a balanced chemical reaction. You take any of the products that have a subscript of AQ or G, as in it has to be either aqueous or a gas, and you use those concentrations in your equilibrium expression, or in this example, Al2SO43 is certainly in solution because it has the subscript AQ. We do not include solids and liquids, or subscripts S and L. And in the denominator of our expression, we have the exact same thing for the reactant side. We don't include solids, but we do include aqueous and gas phase molecules. In this example, CuSO4 is aqueous. The only trick to these kinds of problems is that the exponents on the numerator or denominator, or each term, I should say, in the numerator or denominator, is the same as the number in the balanced chemical reaction. There are three CuSO4s reacting here, so the CuSO4 term is cubed. There's only one Al2SO43 here, and so we could say that it has an exponent 1, but we don't write that because it's understood. And this here, we're already done our equilibrium expression. So again, keys are only use aqueous phase and gas phase molecules. Make sure your exponents match the coefficients in your balanced chemical equation. And of course, make sure it's products over reactants.